This is a beautiful day. Harry and I are here in Campbell, California at a backyard event. Now think how rare this is considering COVID. Um, but we're breaking out of that and this is how we love to celebrate. But these are all backyard barbecuers. These guys and women, these, these barbecuers are here for the love of doing it and competing, some of them for the first time. So Harry and I are going to walk around and kind of harass them a little bit, I think. Maybe even throw in a few tips, best we can. And for those of you who don't know who this is, this is the famous legend Rick Gilbert. He's a fixture and a barbecue ambassador and coach. And I'm for not all that old, really. <laughs> <laughs> what Rick and I love doing is sharing barbecue love with everyone. And today in NorCal, we're just going to go around and introduce ourselves to the new team because we want to bring the next generation on board. New blood, new ideas, new diversity, and we want to show everybody that barbecue is always inclusive, never exclusive. Hey. Nice to meet you, sir. What's your name? Matt. 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 Nice to meet you, Matt. Yeah. What, what's the secret sauce today? Special uh, process? Special rub? I'll be honest. So we do our own uh, custom rub and my own homemade barbecue sauce as well. So I got a propane tank just for the two burners I have there. Yeah, okay. And this is a uh, former tank or this is not? Uh, yeah. This is a former 500 gallon, right? 500 gallon. Wow. Just using logs here. This uh, uh, California oak? Uh, Red uh, oak? Yeah, California oak and then almonds. So almond. almond and wow, almond. nice. How many, how many ribs do you have in there today? Uh, right now I'm only doing nine slabs today. Nine slabs? Yeah. And for the contest? For the contest, okay. yeah. Are, they, are you guys feeding the public or there's no public? Yeah, so from one to three we'll be giving out uh, we, uh, ribs. So I think it's $20 for six tokens you get and then you get a, uh, you get a tray of ribs. You get to try a bunch of ribs. That's okay. six different ribs you can try out. Yeah. Okay, so four more. Okay, so you have a vent. You can make a dual vent. You can divert it here and divert exactly. it there. So when I get too hot, I can just pull yeah. it off. Good luck to you guys. All right, thank you. Right. I appreciate it. Talk to your neighbors too. Awesome. Yeah. That's a good way. Yeah, and then also make sure you eat your neighbor's food. Okay. Yes, yeah, sure. that's a good uh, You have to understand that sometimes there is a diversity of tastes. So later on, when they announce the winner, you can say, oh yeah, you know, I ate his ribs and I, I kind of know what the judges were looking for today. Harry, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Joe. Joe. Carlos. Carlos. Carlos, how's it going? It's going good. Yeah. It's going good, thanks. I am going with a little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat. Okay. So we're going to, uh, got a little jalapeno, a little chipotle sauce. Okay, all right. A little mix like that. Okay. It's no real secret. Let me, so. you, get, you open, let me take a look at it. Yeah, for sure. So you're looking for color. You want a mahogany color. Okay, looking good. Beautiful spares. St. Louis style. I'm just here to hang with hey, Rick, you know. Perfect. Uh, Don, Donna, my, my sweetheart is judging, so she's awesome. a she's a hard judge. I told her, you know, we're gonna give the crew hell. Hey, but yeah, we call want. it tough love, tough love. I gotta go see if there's a judges meeting. I think there's judges. So okay, guys. okay, all right, thanks. I'm Horacio. Yeah, okay. uh, or Horacio hey, from Paychex Barbecue. Uh, cool man. So uh, Rick Gilbert and I are kind of walking around, see if any teams need any advice, help. Moral support. <laughs> our process is uh, pretty simple. Uh, we rubbed it earlier this morning. We rubbed our ribs, trimmed our ribs last night. Uh, keeping it, uh, smoking our ribs at about 260, 270. Uh, spritzing throughout the day with water. Yeah. Secret, Harry secret, Sue's, secret ingredient, yes. Harry Sue's uh, secret ingredient. You're going to use parquet also, but par <laughs> for some reason parquet is extinct. Yeah, you know, yeah why, why is that? Life, you can't right? find parquet anymore. What's it. the deal with that, man? But I can't believe it. That's, yeah. That works just as well. Yep. Wrapped our ribs. Okay. Uh, we turn in at 12, so I got about 40 minutes. One way to check the doneness of the uh -huh. rib is when you flip it over and you see the bones. Yes. I like about three or maybe four bones showing okay. in that range. The other thing is don't go by temperature. Don't worry about that. If you want to go by temperature, use it as your guide. Yes. Start with 195, 196, and then you start checking your ribs for doneness. Okay, that's two. Three. Eat what you don't turn in. <laughs> <laughs> wow, another one. Thank you for your support, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Good you to see what? you. This right. is my brother, first cook. Hi, nice to meet you, man. My okay. daughter, first cook. Oh, first cook. Everybody's Let me tell you here. Something. Yeah. Big influence. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You like you always, you like you always okay. say, spread that barbecue love. Okay. And uh, you got any uh, like Hawaiian style techniques you know today? What? Just the whole thing. Is that's what it is. Okay. From you start to what? end. I see you have your beautiful, uh, you know, pineapple. You got your uh, umbrella. Yep. All, all, all set here. But this is what's important. <laughs> okay. So a, lo a lot of people are using the all-purpose on the bone side, yeah. that on the yeah. 
we meat also side. do an SCA cookie, and we started to break it so yeah. into some of those flavors also. Okay. We are looking for the best turn-in of this contest. So they're going to be judged on appearance, taste, and tenderness, and timeliness, because if they don't make their time, they're going to get docked. So that's a big factor. No garnish, and we're looking forward to it. Tables are set up in one, two, and three tables. There's going to be four judges at each table. Um, one, one person will be in charge of the table. We'll bring the, the entries over. They're going to try them. They're going to score them. And then we're going to have the pit maker, pit masters come in after, and they're going to get feedback from the judges right after they try their entry. This time, we're going to know who's turning in the box, and we're going to tell them, the judges are going to tell them what they liked and what they disliked. Guys, as to what you hope to teach the teams today, and what you hope to learn yourself. Guys, just starting out, you know, a little bit of the process to not only, you know, go for the best right off the bat, but enjoy the journey of getting there. Because you're never going to be the best right out, of, right out of the gate. I hope they get to see some of the, the feedback immediately from the judges that they don't normally get to get on cards. So they'll actually get to talk to us and say, yeah, this is what we liked or what we didn't like, so they can improve what they do, hopefully, in their, in their own barbecue world. Uh, in a nutshell, I'm hoping to express to them what they will get from the judges' chambers at a sanctioned event and what they can do to impress the judges. It may not be what they do to impress their best friends, but competition is very different from impressing your friends. So we want to let them know what it takes. Just sharing the knowledge, um, what we enjoy, what we're looking for versus what they're looking for and so on. So. I'm just here for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> So Zach, can you share a few words of wisdom on camera about what you are going to try to help the team accomplish today? Uh, honestly, I'm going to mostly get it down on appearance scores and of course the rest of the outcome here. Um, you know, appearance is a very ideal thing, especially during the whole entire cook process. It's all what comes up in the beginning to the end is a very crucial part in it and a very crucial part for your score. When it comes down to taste and stuff like that, honestly, the balance of it. I'm curious to see the growth from last year. Some of the same teams are out there. And I just want to give them, you know, an overall... I'm a caterer, so I do catering. So I don't cook like these guys do. It's a total different ball game. So for me, it's a great thing to be able to judge and uh, give them input on what I, I feel as an outsider of the game, right? And uh, I know all those guys out there, so I can't wait to see what happens today. I'm really excited about it. All right, thanks, man. Score of six, that's average. Seven would be good. Eight would be very good. Nine would be excellent. Hopefully we don't have to go below six, but if we do five, not good, four, real bad, three, terrible. Hopefully we do Two, unedible. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, two would be unedible. It's Mahalo Barbecue, and it looks like a nice moist glaze, a nice moist rib, um, a little bit of uneven sauce. You can see the ones on the bottom left look a little drier than the ones on the top row or even the bottom right. I like the uh, yes. I like the presentation uh, with the different numbers. To me, a lot of appearance is, is do I want to eat it? Does it look like it's edible? Does it look like it's really good? These look really good, and I absolutely want to take a bite of them. So it's... Uh, I like he missed a couple sauces on some of the brushes. So like some of the small detail things are not there. But as far as like just wanting to take a bite of that right now, it looks really good. Loved it. There, like there's a couple things on like your sauce, that kind of stuff. But once you clean that up, it's really good. The taste was awesome. I loved the sweet. It was actually really good. Um, there was a really funny difference between their two bones and our two bones. Ours seemed to be more uh, done all the way, and theirs seemed to be a little bit underdone. So they're different racks. Yeah. Your top rack to where they were pulled, where you had two different racks. I would have had those on the bottom. So now you have all the same rack on the top. Yeah. Now all your pullbacks even on the top. So the color spot on, mahogany yeah. is perfect. A little bit blotchiness, so watch that. Make sure that when you sauce it, it kind of looks a little bit even. Uh, the oil, you need a little bit of what I call finishing salt. Yes. So you need the pop because when we bite it, the first bite is the most important. Yeah. So I would just hit it with a little bit of finishing salt 
And if you can add a little bit of heat on it, that yes. will really cause the flavors to pop and registers in the mind. So that's that's very good. Flavor wise, spot spot on. Uh, my piece was unfortunately a little bit tough. So I, I got the last piece. They took the best one. They the rib next to it. Yes. Yeah. So I, I I lowered your score on the um, tenderness because it was a, just a little bit tough. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And that extra Thank rack, you. feel free. Man. All right. <laughs> Our second team, which is going to be Paychecks Barbecue. Take a bite. Taste it. Uh -huh. yeah. Overall, I like the color on the ribs. Uh, I thought it was very good. Uh, that's the kind of comp color that I think looks really good. The, the sauce and the meat was a little bit uneven on the edges. So I ended up getting one that was a little bit kind of in the corner piece was missing. The, the taste is very good and a nice heat overall. Similar to what Harry said, um, a little spice. Tenderness, tenderness is great. Uh, flavor is still great. Um, your finishing powder, grind it down a little bit further. Okay. And it, it, it could be a little gritty. So I got a weird, it's like one half of it was like perfect tenderness and the other half was a little bit over tender, or a little bit overdone for me. Um, a little, like they said, a little bit spicy, but most part, really good rib. Thank you. If you are off balance on any one of the sweet heat, salt, smoke, uh, spice doneness, uh, and you offend more than one judge, you'll never win. So be careful of that balance. It was very nice, your bones look moist. All around good product. We have Big Daddy's Barbecue. Yeah. And look at he's got all the sides and everything all. Yeah. Love, yeah. love the shine. Love the shine. Yeah. Right, this time I pick first. Okay. Nobody, nobody, nobody touch. Nobody, nobody touch. touch. Harry gets the first deep box. All right. What do you recommend, this Tracy? One. This I one is tender. Yeah. yeah. Pick that was one, one I was gonna pick. Okay. Tracy picks for me. Yeah, Correct. That's, yeah. But if you okay. get the new judges, that'll bite on that if end. If you're an end biter. Yeah. All right. Perfect tender. A little bit of pepper. Very well balanced. I like this one. I like this rib. Best so far. So everything was great. I love the color. It was really good. Um, the, like you said, the pullback was awesome. The mind for tenderness and everything was amazing and I love the, the taste. Tenderness, just a hair overdone because it pulled off, but I scored you awesome. This was the best tenderness I've had and it was really good. On the flavor, they have said it, I would consider this an above average basic flavor. If you know what sauce it is, I mean, everybody knows what sauce it is because um, you have that flavor. But what that sauce gains more is in the finish and the shine. So try to get add more to it to take away from that basic flavor that's General. recognizable. Yeah. yeah. When you win a contest, it's because you avoid the avoidable errors, right? So the trimming of the St. Louis cut wasn't so clean. You left the rib tip on the top. So that is an unnecessary risk. Some judges will not score you down. Some will take offense and score you down. So if you trim your rib tip, right? Yeah, make sure that you trim a pure St. Louis. Don't try to do a half St. Louis, half spare rib. Does yeah. it make sense? Yes, that's right. And then once you have that rib tip up there, if they bite the rib tip, and it's fatty, then it doesn't yeah. reflect well. So a uh, spare rib has 13 bones. Uh -huh. You want to go to bone number four, counting starting from the biggest bone. That is the longest bone on a spare rib. You use that as your marker, trim a parallel cut to remove the rib tip. And in the, if you do that, you're going to grab all of the rib tip. Okay, okay. so try that. Oh, awesome, thank you. I and then you guys have a great day. Yeah, who's going to announce this one? Oh, 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 no. My fault. Okay. okay. No, can't count. no markdown okay. on that. No that markdown can, on that can yeah. happen after yeah. they turn it Jenga, in. Jenga, Jenga. You got Jenga ribs today. The damn friggin' Vanna White. <laughs> yeah. And not only is it dark, but it looks overcooked. It's over smoky. Yeah, mine's a good rib. I, I have nothing, no complaints. This is not too dark either. I got I got lucky, right? This is not dark. Yeah, this, is this, is a, this is a competition rib right here. So the top was dark. Visual on the box. Way too dark. Yep. You guys gotta lighten it up. My guess is in that in a finishing rub or dust, you probably had a little bit too much sugar. Yeah, I did. So it's gonna get that dark burn. Yeah. On the a great flavor. Absolutely love the flavor. It was great. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. The, uh, she was right when it was over, way too over dark. Okay. Um, and then our, ours were overdone. So we bit into it. We got more, a lot more meat than we should have got off the thing. Your appearance, great, except for the darkness. Um, if you do do six, See if you can put them in line. Don't try and stack them. Yeah, do them across the box. Do them across the box. If six don't fit, 
across the box, but five, then one, top, bottom, whatever. Okay. You can do a five by one, okay. and the five by one, the one can be at the bottom or the top. Got it. You can also do a diagonal two, so okay. four pieces and then diagonal okay. two. Okay. Yeah. I, I, it's interesting on this table, I had the best rib, so this is probably one of the best rib I ate the whole day. Okay. Now, they had a different experience because maybe you pulled it from a different rack. Okay. Mine was perfectly yeah. trimmed, okay. the flavor was right, the color was right, it was not too dark. I appreciate you giving this. Oh, yeah, yeah. So much. First impressions. And I'm good at Vanna White. Wow. Carrasco flavors. Big nice. ribs. Yeah, I was going to say, these are really beefy. They did some nice meat selection. Yeah, did you watch my video I'm on the spray? I'm just saying for the desk, though, as far as the finished desk, you can see. Oh, yeah. yeah see, and this one has a lot of brush, silicone brush right there. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to take a bite. The way you're supposed to judge it, you're supposed to take a bite and have a composite impression of the meat, smoke, spice, sauce. Yeah, mine's okay, it's just a little bit dry, but you know, besides that, it's a pretty good rib. I uh, love the color, love the pullback uh, box, it's really good. There was one rib on the top of the hanger that would be kind of weird, that would be like... What we call a shiner, a shiner, where the bones show through on the edge, and here's your edge rib. We could use a little more pop. Combination up of bottled sauce. Um, I don't know what sauce you use, but just a little more. Yeah. And I did not have uh, excess salt. I some of the other my partners here had a little bit excess salt. Mine was very good. So just the dryness was the only constructive comment I have. From them. But overall, very good. Thank you. I like salt, but you can only upset one judge at the table of six. If you have too much or too little sweet, heat, salt, spice, smoke, or doneness, you're going to potentially upset the palate of a second judge. That's awesome. I'm so glad we did this part of it. Oh, good. Great job, guys. Yeah. Wow, so we wrapped up for today. You got a glimpse of a lot of things. Mostly some very uh, excited and ambitious teams just wanting to learn about barbecue. And that's what this is about. This is an opportunity to learn from great pit masters, uh, giving you feedback that helps you move your game forward. And you shouldn't just keep it to one area, spread this out. The more information you can get, the broader range from where it comes, the more knowledge and ability you're going to have to be able to produce the best barbecue that you can. Great day. Um, God bless the troops, God bless America, and God bless barbecue. Hell yeah.